My name is Constance. Welcome to Cruelty Free Musings. Hello, YouTube friends. I decided that I think will be interesting. All right, so the makeup style tag. I've seen so many people do this. I've seen Samantha March do this. I've seen LS do this. I've seen... I don't think I've seen Lauren May Beauty's makeup style video. Like, I haven't watched it, but I've seen it in passing. Um, I watch Kelly Gooch. I watched um, Lisa Stevens. Um, I don't actually know who the originator of this tag was. Okay. Uh, the creator is named Lisa. I don't watch her channel. I, I haven't seen the original makeup tag. The reason that I am doing this tag, the reason that I feel able to do this tag, is because Elle specifically said in her video that she doesn't feel like she can do tag videos unless she's been specifically tagged. So she was like, if you are watching and you have a YouTube vid channel, then consider yourself tagged if you would like to do this tag do it so here i am thank you al so if you've never seen a makeup tag video you have a list of questions and you answer them this one is all about makeup style hooray i have the questions on my phone if you see me looking down i actually have Elle's video pulled up Question one, what kind of eye primer do you use and why? Liquid eye primer or shadow stick? I use concealer because I have two concealers that are too dark for me. For the record, ColourPop No Filter Concealer does not come in my shade. It comes in fair. It comes in fair neutral. It comes in light and light neutral. They all oxidize to much darker than my skin tone. So, eye primer it is. I wouldn't say that I have used eye primers enough to really have an opinion about what works better for me. I'm using of concealers that I cannot use in any other way. Once I'm done with both of those, or they dry up and go nasty, um, then I'll probably purchase a liquid um, eye primer because I don't really have an opinion. I haven't been wearing eyeshadow that long. I don't have a strong opinion about eye primers. It does just me though. Um, if you have a, 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 an opinion, feel free to share it in the comments below. We welcome discussion here, especially on cruelty-free options. Uh, what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? This is question 2A. Um, I love all colors equally. But in the words of George Orwell, I love some colors more equally than others. Um, so I love color. I love all varieties of color. I love non-colors like gray and tan. And I love bright colors like orange and yellow. That said, if I had a favorite color, it would be green. And I love green. And um, I love the way that it makes my eyes look also. And I don't have a green eyeliner right now, but I have had in the past and I love green on my eyes. It's so pretty. And to be, what eyeshadow color do you least like to wear and why? I hate neutral warm tones on my eyes. 
I hate them. Yes, I know. My eye color, my, my eye look does not get much more neutral than that. It like barely looks like I have anything on my eyes. But still, like there's nothing warm about this look. And if you saw my first video, you know that I have no problems with warm at all. That was orange and yellow and it was bright. I have no problems with warmth and I have no problems with neutral individually. My crease, I got one of the Makeup Forever quads, not Makeup Forever, one of the Makeup Geek quad thingummies that they were. I got the warm tone version and the cool tone version and I put on the, the warm tone quad has peach smoothie and you know, whatever, warm brown, warm brown and shimmer shimmer and i did the look with the warm version i put peach smoothie into the crease i put the warm brown in my outer corner i lined with the deep brown and i was and i looked at my i look when i was done and i said i hate this i hate this i hate how it looks on me and i wore it for the entire day and it was fine but I hated it, and I don't have that quad anymore. I still have the cool version. People love warm neutrals. I don't. If I'm going for warm, give me color. Give me color. That's, that's my war cry. Give me color! Or let me go bare-faced. I don't. Like, I'm not willing to die over this. Anyway, pressing on. Three. Do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner and black or brown? I am totally a pencil liner girl. I threw away my only liquid liner this morning because I was like, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. It's, you know, I've had it for a month. It, feels like it's starting to dry up. It's definitely gunked up because of the pencil liner that I was using it with. It doesn't sit down. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't do liquid liner. Um, I don't do wings. I have never felt the need to perfect my wing. I think that the the cat flick, the cat eye flick looks kind of weird on me because of my eye shape. So if I do a winged eyeliner, it's more of a bardo style where it's just like thicker on the outside corner, like I'm like I've done today. And I like pencil liners. Uh, as far as black or brown, I prefer brown. I don't have a brown right now because I have had so many brown eyeliner problems. I'm planning on repurchasing Urban Decay Smog, which is not precisely a brown. It is more a, uh, sorry, turning my phone off because I didn't need to hear from LinkedIn right now. Um, I, I have had major problems. I think I was talking about smog. Um, I know it's not precisely a brown. It's described as a copper, but it is a great color on me. It makes my eyes look super green. Um, my eyes change color. Well, little factoid. It's one of the reasons that I love putting color in my waterline. Depending on what color I put there, it can completely change the color of my eyes. So, um, yeah, I I love smog. Uh, not the environmental pollution, but the Urban Decay liner. I think it's a great one. It lasts reasonably well in the waterline. Um, 
if the waterline pencils, I just saw that they had new waterline pencils. If they had brighter colors in those waterline pencils, I would totally pick one up. Black or brown. I prefer color in general. But for black or brown, for the neutral eyeliner, I prefer brown for the softer effect. I think black is a little too harsh on my extremely fair complexion unless I'm already doing a super intense dark smoky eye. Covergirl or Maybelline mascara? Neither. I'm cruelty free. I don't actually own either right now. In the past, before I was cruelty free, um, my favorite was Super Sizer. Before I tried the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, I was I was super converted to Lash Paradise. Um, I do find that Super Sizer lasts a little bit better on my lashes. It just doesn't look as pretty in the short term. I would say neither. Like for the last nine months or so, I have been perfectly happy with neither, even before I was cruelty free. And um, before that, I had only tried CoverGirl. Like my, my mascaras, I have sensitive eyes. I don't know if I've mentioned this in this video. It was a major theme in the last video. My eyes are really sensitive. The first mascara I ever tried was Benefits They're Real. It stung. Actually, the first, first mascara that I ever tried was one that I got put on me at an Estee Lauder counter. And I don't even know what it was. And that really stung my eyes. That was, ugh. And then Benefit They're Real, that stung my eyes. Less so. And then I switched to Buxom. I don't know, whatever their, whatever their mascara was. That was, that was fine. Um, most of my early experience with mascara was actually high-end, not drugstore. And then when I started trying drugstore mascara, I tried Super Sizer and Clump Crusher, which are both CoverGirl mascaras. And it was always on my list, list to try the Maybelline Lash Sensational because so many people rave about it. Jamie Page raves about it. Who else? I feel like it's everyone's favorite drugstore mascara. It's just like a, a super reliable mascara, but it was on my list to try, but I went cruelty free before I ever picked it up. So, not buying it now. If I could have my brows permanently done or not wear any blush for the rest of my life, which would I choose? I already don't mess with my brows. It would not change my life that much to have my brows permanently done. I filled in my brows a tiny bit this morning with my Anastasia Brow Kit in blonde. I use the darker shade. It works great. My eyebrows are super nicely shaped anyway, and they... Mm. <laughs> but I also have really high cheek color, so I kind of perm have blush too. I would pick never doing my brows again. Does your best friend or you wear more makeup? I would say definitely me. Um, actually, technically, if we're talking about best friend, I would say like, any of the three people that I would consider my best friend are all guys. So definitely, definitely me. Um, 
not that there isn't a sizable community of guys that wears makeup. They're just not part of it. They're part of the standard, you know, play video games. None of them are into the stereotypically manly things like sport and beer and, but, you know, they, they, they're not part of the population that wears makeup at all. So definitely, definitely I wear makeup than anyone that I would consider my best friend. And even among my girlfriends, I would say that I definitely wear make, more makeup than any of them as well. As in, I have done some of my girlfriend's makeup and they're like, wow, this looks so much better than how I do my makeup. And you use so many more products than I do. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you have to, you have to work hard to look really natural. Uh, who taught you how to do makeup? YouTube. Yeah, that's, no one in my family is that into makeup. No one in my circle of acquaintance is that into makeup. I taught myself how to do makeup because I wanted to learn. I wanted to figure out how to make myself look different. So here we are, wearing green highlighter. Are you a fan of cream products, blush, bronzer, contour, etc.? What or why not? I haven't tried that many cream products, I would say. 100% of the cream products that I have tried have been the wrong shade. Definitely the majority of people that I was watching at the time did not have skin tones remotely close to mine. Well, remotely close. Like, generally speaking of Caucasian descent, yes. Super dee duper the fairest of fair. No. I have some, <laughs> I have, I have pale skin problems in, in heaps. So yeah, that's my main problem with, with cream products. I would say that the majority of cream products that I have tried have not worked for me because of a color mismatch. I got a deluxe sample of the liquid hula, which was bad for everyone. I don't think anyone liked the liquid hula, actually. Um, but it was orange on me because I am not only pale, but I have a pink undertone. So things that are a little bit warm pull orange on me. So the Benefit Liquid Hula that pulled orange on everyone. Unwearable, terrible, terrible. And uh, apart from that, I haven't tried any cream products. Unless you count a super shock cheek highlighter, which they're fine, I'm wearing Flexitarian today and Becca Opal Flashes Jade on top. Um, but that's more of a cream to powder finish, I would say. It's like not something that you have a problem applying over powder. So yeah, I haven't tried cream products, really. All the cream products that I've tried have been bad, bad, bad options for me. Like just bad shades. Am I a project fan or what projects am I in right now? Yes. I, uh, the video that I, the other video that I recorded this morning was me starting my project pen. Of all of the things that I wanted to use up that were not cruelty free in my collection. 
Uh, it's not associated with anyone in particular. I have kind of non-standard rules and we're just gonna roll with it for six months. It'll be up in September. Look for regular updates. And 10 settings braid you believe in it, which is your holy grail. This again is something that I haven't tried many of. I do love setting spray. I can't be without a setting spray because I hate looking powdery. I don't like looking like I have makeup on, except for having color on my face. So I don't mind if you can tell that I did something color wise with my eyes, with my highlight, you know, with my lips but I don't want to look like I have powder on my face, so I can't be without a setting spray. That said, I haven't tried that many. I am using up the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I just bought the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I have used the Hard Candy Primer Mist, which smells like coconuts, which is great but it smells a little too much like coconuts did not rebuy that one um, I also thought that the mist was a little strange on that one so yeah have I tried anything else none of the no I don't think I've tried any of the other major ones I haven't tried all night or haven't tried any of the urban decay ones actually I haven't tried I'm um, Milani, uh, make it last. I haven't tried, you know, I haven't, I haven't tried many setting sprays. Um, but I would say 100%, I cannot be without something to melt powder into my skin because, oh my goodness, cannot look cakey even if we have 14 products on our base. Cannot look powdery. No, the worst fate in the world. So, this has been my makeup style. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something or had fun. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, do whatever you like. Thanks for watching. Bye.